The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. I hope I'm coming through. That's what the good, uh, good book says. We'll see if we can get this done, folks. I posted a chart here of the Dow E. Excuse me, the E Mini S and P last night around two o'clock in the morning. You can see it was making a one three five pattern. It was down seventy five handles. Dow was down. Well, it was down almost five hundred points. It looked like there was no end in sight, and from there, the Dow rallied 700 points straight up. The S&P also had a very, very strong rally. But, folks, we're not out of the woods yet. Let me go here, and I'm going to try to share with you what I think is happening in some of these markets. Hopefully, it will help, and maybe it will, maybe it won't, but we're going to take a look at it. All we're going to do now is we're going to switch over, and we're going to look at our good friend, the NASDAQ, because I want to look at it on a longer-term basis first. We'll get this up here so that we'll be able to see it here shortly, God willing. And all I have to do is hit that and hit that right there, and I think that'll pop it up. And there is the chart of the NASDAQ. As you can see here, the um, ABCD that we've been waiting for so long comes in here at the um, area of uh, 12 1,300. Uh, the chart is too small for me to see, folks, but you can see the ABCD down there. Whatever that number is, I think it's 11,000. It is. It's 11,000 and change. We talked about that with Mr. Z on the line yesterday, and that's what I'm looking at. That should be a pretty good rally. That would equal the equivalent of about 3,800 in the E-mini S&P. But uh, we have some really big things happening in these markets. As you can see here, what's going on in London with the, uh, the metal uh, nickel. They've banned it, you know, or they've taken it off or whatever they decide to do. They're changing the rules, just like we did with silver in, in, in 1980. And that destroyed the silver market, folks, for well over 25 years. It just went down from $40, $54 all the way down to $4 in 2001. So, And now we're, silver's rocking and rolling again to the upside. So whenever they start making changes and changing the rules, that's not good. It's not really good. So we need, we need to focus on that as we look at that. But the other one that I need to show you here that I think is relatively important here in the NASDAQ, and it'll just take me one second to get it up if I can do this correctly. I have no idea whether you can see these things or not, folks. I'm just flying blind. I can't see uh, what's going on. I can't be messaged anymore. I, I, I'm just totally... Uh, you know, and I really think I, I worked hard to try to get this thing working last night, and I know I can put the charts in, I believe, but now I'm, I'm flying blank because I don't know if anybody's calling in, which that's not a big deal, but uh, I can't get anything. So I'm just going to share with you uh, the information that I have here, and uh, you can take it for what it's worth. One of the reasons that I, I wanted to bring some of these charts to your attention is because I'm a technician. These charts are extremely, I mean, extremely important to me, and they should be important to you. And the one that probably is one of the most important of all is the one that I'm going to bring up next, and that is the one on the Treasury notes. I want to bring this up here so you'll be able to see it. This is the weekly chart of the Treasury notes. As you know, we've been bearish this market for well over two and a half years. Uh, we made it the big ABCD down here two weeks ago. We've had a tremendous rally uh, in the notes of around four and a half points, 10 points in the bonds, which was expected. Now, the question is, how how much trouble is the Fed in? We don't know because the Fed really doesn't tell us anything that's going on. But if we start making lower lows now in the bonds below that 150 level, you're going to be looking at a 129 handle in the bonds. Remember, that's our long-term price objective in the bonds. We've been talking about that in the newsletter for well over a year and a half, maybe even two years, when everybody was trying to tell us it was negative interest rates and everything was going to be fine and all these countries had negative interest rates. 
folks, to me, that was the biggest no-brainer that I've ever heard in anything with finance because uh, th that just didn't make any economic sense at all. It's hard enough to figure economic sense of what's going on in the world right now, you know, given the fact that we've got crude oil, at, uh, we've got 130, we hit $129 a barrel again today, we hit 130 on Sunday. Uh, we had gold hit uh, 2079 today, folks, you know, and then even silver was up a dollar. So things are really starting to, uh, to pick up speed here. And uh, whether they're going to continue in this direction or not, you know, I don't really know. But as Basil said, if we can get this VIX index to back off a little bit today, get the Dow up about 200 points, you know, there's a chance that this market could have a pretty good rally. I would be betting on the fact that we've got that ABCD down there. The NASDAQ, we've got the ABCD there in the E-mini S&P, and we've got the E-mini and also in the Dow Jones. So all of those uh, lead me to believe that we probably would be heading down into that. And then, and then there is going to be sometime in the future here, uh, whatever the future is, uh, we're going to have one heck of a rally. And, uh, you know, fortunately, we've got some pretty smart people here at TFNN that uh, give us some really good ideas and I think we'll get closer to those numbers you know as we uh, as we go through uh, looking at them so those are the main ones this Treasury note one is just just extremely important and I'm going to bring the one up for the Treasury bonds because it is equally as important and I think you'll see that the fact that we were trying to put that short position on here at the uh, 160 20 level we got to 160 10 12 160 12 we missed it and now it's three handles under that at 157 and that that's telling us that the fed is is between a rock and a hard place folks they've been pumping this market full of money for a very very long time but the problem is you know there's got to be a point where it doesn't do it now one of the things that you've got to remember here folks we're starting to see some really squirrely things happening we're watching crude oil you know jump a hundred and what a hundred and some dollars uh, go over a hundred dollars like it didn't even exist up to 130 we've got gold back to double top there 2000 and change and so uh you know if illiquidity remember this this whole thing is built on debt and if that debt starts to shake and believe me, and it's starting to, that could be the problem where liquidity is going to be really a big problem in here because that door to get out of some of this stuff is not going to be as easy as some people might think. Now, I, I wanted to bring one other chart that I tried to bring to our attention here. I want to get the uh, chart up here one second here on the uh, – on the uh, on the DAX, and I want to do the DAX and the FTSE because both of those are uh, very very important. Here we'll do the DAX first. You'll see it's had a tremendous move down here these last few days, as as expected. And uh, let's just see here uh, what we're going on here. There we go. I think one of the things that I did here, folks, is I wanted to be. Uh, able to uh, look in the den at the same time I was able to see if there's already questions that pops up but unfortunately I'm just going to have to keep talking until I run out of things to say and believe me folks I never run out of things to say sometimes they're meaningless but that's neither here nor there now that was the uh, that was the footsie we're going to look at the German DAX when we come back from the break here then we're going to talk about the US dollar 877-927-6648 You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. 
The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, I think we have our first caller on the new system from Niagara Falls. Mike, are you there? Yes, yeah, good morning, Larry. Good morning. What can I do for you, my friend? Yeah, I'm a contrarian trader. I think natural gas topped out. I want you to take a look at the chart of UNG or the natural gas contract. Okay, unfortunately, I have to do that. When the break comes up, I'll make up the chart and yeah. put it in the file, and I'll bring it up. You want UNG and then natural gas? Yeah, or, or or the natural gas contract, yeah. Natural gas contract, I can certainly do that one. That's not a problem. And I, I, I believe I you're probably you probably right. I in your, your folders there a UNG chart. Um, yes, I do. You're, chart. Right. you're absolutely correct. And you know what? I, you know what? Let's just try it right now since we're kicks and giggles here. You're such a good uh, TFNN listener. We're just going to do this right now. I just have to go up here and get up here to the, uh, oh, I've got to go into this one right here. To pull up that chart, and I believe it's under here. It is one second. This may or may not work, but I believe that uh -huh. we are making a pretty good. We made a 61% retracement yesterday in natural gas. Hold okay. on with me now, Mike. Keep our keep our fingers crossed. This might be able to do it. Bing. Close windows. Uh oh, this might do it. And hit go live. Let's see if it pops up. Did it pop up there? Did you? Can you see it? No. Well, let's try it again. Let's go up here, screen, close windows. I gotta get the one I want, which is right there. Now it should be popping up and you should be able to see it. There it is, it's popped up now. So anyway, that's that's what we, yesterday, we hit a 61% retracement at 518, I believe. And uh -huh. we went all the way down to 450 is what I saw earlier this morning. That's highly uh -huh. indicative that something like that has happened. Now, Mike, you gotta remember that Natural gas in, in Europe sells for three and a half to four times what we have here, and that's dirty yeah. natural gas. It's not clean natural gas like what we have here. Oh, really? <coughs> okay. Does that help? 
Did not know that. Oh yeah. Well, okay. So you're you're still bullish on natural gas. See the thunderbolt. Uh, yeah, I still I still up. think I still think it's got a chance. As long as we can stay above four dollars, uh, I think we're okay. But if we get below four dollars, I mean, stop and think. If we get below four dollars when crude oil's one hundred thirty, oh my God, something's wrong, Mike. Yeah. You know that that's the way I would look at. You know, in fact, maybe, some maybe, people say, maybe maybe some suppliers cheating, huh? <laughs> Huh? You are you know, a contrarian, you know, they, they cheat. OPEC cheats, huh? Eh? The well, cartel members they, cheat. Yes, they certainly, they, they have figures, liars figures and figures lie. So, yes, there's a lot of that stuff. That goes on in everything, you know, in commodity yeah. trading and everything else. The people don't give you right information. That's why uh -huh. being a technician is the best way to be because they can't lie to you on the chart. If prices uh -huh. are going up, there's more buyers. Prices going down, there's more seller. And you know what else is really strange, Mike? We're looking at crude oil going up like crazy. I mean, this is vertical. It's just a vertical run here of $30 yeah. this last three days. And the open interest has been dropping substantially on all contracts except the far ends uh, every day. I mean, th right. that is a sign of short covering. So when that's over... When that's over, Mr. Hoover, also known as the vacuum cleaner, will come in, and there'll be a vacuum under the market, much like we're seeing in wheat right now. Wheat uh -huh. is $2 a bushel in a matter of three hours under when it was limited up yesterday. So yeah. we Five have some wild a things for going wheat on. Was, was in the past, you know, the top dollar, you know, and wow, look at it now, yes. huh? Well, that's Boy, right. It's going crazy. farmers out west, they're, they're going to be filthy rich. They already are filthy rich because all their money is in the ground, pal, that real estate. They don't sell any more of it. They don't make any more of it. And that's how they make most of their money. They're I think uh, farm, farmland, farmland is going for 2022 GMC, Silverado, crew cabs, 4 by 4s in yeah. Saskatchewan this, uh, this yeah. summer. Well, they can afford it, so let them buy it. That's the way I look at it. Yeah. Hey, listen. Get ready for spring, buddy. Another few weeks, and you'll be uh, you'll be free. You'll be starting to thaw it up there, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the Niagara Escarpment. Um, there's an early um, early out. It's early uh, seasonal allergy season uh, over here because uh, you've got the escarpment and uh, the the farmer yeah. fields and the, the vineyards or whatever. So the trees begin to pollinate, and the mold the mold yeah. starts to pollinate. You know, and then yeah. the grass comes in the in early May. Yeah. Wow. Well, listen, it's thanks bad. for calling really in, buddy. Bad, yeah. I, I really appreciate it. Yeah. Always good to hear from you. Okay. We'll, we'll talk again. Thank you very you much. Bet. Th you bet. Okay, folks, since we're talking about uh, food and stuff, I want to post a chart of the soybean meal contract. Uh, we've been possible top up in here. We've been watching it very, very closely. Now, soybean meal, folks, is 80% of the soybean plant. 20% of it is soybean oil, and soybean oil has been going crazy along with the uh, – because it's used as a uh, oil uh, – as a synthetic for oil. How that works, I'm not absolutely sure. Uh, green fuel, whatever it happens to be. But the meal is definitely important because it is an, on the Asian diet, you know, that's tofu and it, so many of the other things that they use for that. I, I think I've mentioned this before, but the soybean was given to us by the Chinese folks. Henry Ford went over there in the early 1900s to China to find out where he could get an oil-based paint so that he could add pigment to it to make cars other than the color of black. And it was because of the soybean oil that they were able to add the, the color. Again, when you started to see right after the war, you started to see colors other than black. And now there's many, many colors. So that's where it all started. Henry Ford working with the Chinese to develop that. It had nothing to do with food. They didn't realize how important the soybean was to the food. And, of course, later on when they realized they couldn't make enough butter, soybean oil was used as margarine, and that's uh, one of, why it's is one of the most perfect foods uh, in the world. But I'm looking for a potential three-drive to a top there uh, in that, and we're going to be able to uh, look at that. Uh, somebody asked a question, uh, you know, about, you know, when we were talking about this bond market just a minute ago, the fact that when they were trying to tell us about negative interest rates, folks, I mean, you have to use common sense. And common sense is basically ask a kid something, and if the kid gives you the right answer, you know that they don't BS you. And so you got to understand that, you know, if you try to tell a kid, look, give me $10 and I'm going to hold it for you, but I'm only going to give you 9 back, and I'm not even going to tell you whether you're going to be guaranteed getting the 9 back. You know what that kid's going to say? Get a life, get lost, give me my 10 bucks. You know, that's basically simple as that. It's not, you know, back in the envelope math.
one of my favorite books is the my own story bernard baruch and he goes through some of these things about you know you have to pay common sense when you're doing this and his number one rule was don't be concerned on the return on your money be concerned on the return of your money, folks. And that's one thing that I've always tried to do during the time that I've been in this business, and which has been a long time. Uh, I might miss a whole lot of moves, but I'll tell you one thing. They're not going to catch this old cowboy with my pants down when when, limp, when wheat goes up seven or eight limits. That well, knock, on, knock on wood here. <laughs> I don't think that'll happen. But given the environment that we have these days, you know, anything is certainly possible. So all I know is that we do live an interesting time. So we've got to pay very close attention to what's going on. We've got a break coming up here. When we get back, I want to uh, talk about the dollar index because uh, that's where the real money is. Basil covered that very efficiently on his show, and we'll talk about it also. We're going to start out with the weekly chart in the dollar index, and then we'll move down uh, to the daily chart when we come back from the break. So let's take a break here, and then we get back. What we'll do is we'll talk about the dollar index. Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, folks, I posted the charts of the dollar index that weekly. You can see we 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 uh, went above the one point six the point six one eight number very handily. Uh, that's what's really surprising me, folks, is when the dollar is strong like this, gold should not be strong, but gold is strong. That tells you how strong it really is. You know, we we have we have gone two hundred dollars here in gold here in just a matter of a few days. And uh, you know, like I mentioned before, uh, and when we've had a hundred dollar, we've had a hundred dollar break during that time too. So there's a good possibility that you know we might be looking at that weekly. Well, we've already we've we've seen the weekly breakout, and that measures to 2,700. Is it going to get there today? Well, I don't know, but you know these markets are very crazy. Uh, I, I I lived through this, you know, when gold was making its big top back in 1980 when we hit $1,000 an ounce in the deferred contracts. Uh, the nearby contracts traded at 863, but the December contracts, because interest rates were so expensive, it got to over $1,000 an ounce, and it topped on uh, August the uh, the 20th. Excuse me, it's Larry. July the 20th of 1980 and went down for 21 years. And the bottom was called very efficiently by none other than our esteemed leader, uh, Tommy O'Brien, when it was at 2002 when I first met Tommy. And gold was trading for 256 an ounce. I remember was in New York and I was buying a couple of Mexican pesos uh, as a gift. And I, uh, I remember paying for those. And I said, oh, my gosh, I couldn't believe I paid this cheap for them. And anyway, that's neat here or there okay now I wanted to cover a couple of things here uh, that that I that I think are relatively important let me get the, I was covered with the dollar index I wanted to make sure uh, that was done and just give me one other second here I need to, to cover uh, cover the DAX I, I want to cover the silver folks because we have a uh, this was the silver chart of yesterday and I, I'll do the silver chart of today because uh, when I mentioned it that if once we cleared that 2640 we were going to go a dollar a barrel a dollar an ounce really quickly and let me get this up here so we'll be able to see it hold on one second here and there we go I put that on there now you see there's where we were now today we're trading above 27 and change very easily folks I've said since the time I started in this show in 2007 buy buy any of those silver rounds anytime they're under $20 they've only been under $20 a few times in this 10 years 15 years but uh, you know now we're going and I, I believe silver could actually take out that high of 54 bucks and uh, we could easily see hundred dollars silver I, I know it seems a little crazy but by golly they're not making any more of this stuff and if they can take nickel if they can take nickel to a hundred thousand dollars a ton they could take silver to a hundred dollars an ounce that wouldn't be you know hey if they can take Bitcoin to sixty seven thousand they can certainly you know take uh, silver to a hundred bucks and at the, try try buying some of it, folks. That's the, that's the real key. Byron Tucker is down in Florida at his, when he's home there on the beach, and he went to he went to a coin dealer in Boca Raton yesterday to try to buy some silver rounds. He said, "I haven't seen any in well over two months," is what he said. He said, "I've added mortared. No one has any, and uh, so and the premium on them is out of sight, forty percent." You know, when I did this at Drexel, the premium was maybe 10%. Now the premium's 40% because you can't get it. So, you know, the quickest way to tell people they can't have something is tell them they can't have something and then look out. So just remind ourselves, folks, uh, these markets are going to get really crazy. I, I, That's why I really watch them. Some, I didn't watch them all night last night because I was a little too tired, but uh, I, I do watch them in the middle of the night. I'll get up and check and see where things are going because you can get a trading opportunity there. Whereas you come in and you've got gold up $100, I mean, you know, it's going to be – it's a little more difficult, you know, to uh, to try to do that. Now, one of the things that I was watching for today is I use the AI program. You know, it's quite helpful sometimes. I'll just show you where it started. I, I was looking at this from a situation of probably, uh, by the way, uh, Jacob, thank you for fixing these charts for me. I can bla blaze through these. All I gotta do now is figure out how do I get my guests, uh, how to get my guests able to do it. I'll be able to do that. I haven't looked at platinum, but I imagine it's going also, uh, palladium, all of these things are, are uh, you know, these are these are metals and people are, people are, pan and this folks, the one thing we can absolutely sh be assured of, okay? This stuff, 
ain't going to – when it when it's over, it's over. But you're going to go back and look at the history books and say, oh, yeah, well – Maybe there's not going to be a history book after uh, Ukraine. I don't know, but uh, the, the we, I've been through all of these. The, nothing ever changes. You know, we're gonna we're gonna probably live through this. Basil Chapman made one of the a very smart, I mean, a very interesting comment. Look, we were just at 4,800 in the S and P, just a little while. We're 4,100 now. Okay. I mean, stop and think. We've had two nuclear attacks going on over there in in Ukraine. We got war. I mean, you know, I mean, it's just we got COVID. I mean, give me a break, you know, and, and yet the market's holding up relatively well. I will say this. When this bottom is in, whatever this leg is coming down here, and my, you know, the numbers we're looking at, of course, is 38 in the S&P, 3,800. And then I believe it's uh, 21,000 in the Dow. Now, if that, if, when we get to those levels and the rally comes, oh, brother. You better be able to you be able to hang on because when that puppy comes out of there, there's going to be, a, you know, that that's what I think is going to happen. Now, do I think there's going to be a crash between here and there? I don't know. If it's going to happen, it's probably going to happen in the next two or three weeks. And the reason why I'm saying that is you're seeing the market go up and then give it all back just really fast. That's not a good sign. And, uh, you know, yesterday, perfect example, 700 point rally in the Dow. Boom. You know, that's that's not how bull markets act, folks. And when we take out that low of the 24th of January, that's when you get the target of 3,800 if we get it. So that's the, the main thing uh, to what you're looking at. It's not how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose. Now, I send out a lot of charts. I send out a lot of videos. I can't do them all night long. I can't do them to the minute or anything like that. But what I do is I try to tell you, you know, the key levels to watch for. You know, these, you know, just looked what I mentioned in the week thing last night. As soon as we came off limit, I said, this thing's going to break. And it's already down $2 a bushel. And that's because all the buyers were done. And that's the same thing when they're done with tin or copper, you know, whatever, whatever it is, whatever he, whatever it happens to be, it, it's going to go right back down again. Do you know why? Because there was a guy named Isaac Newton that said, what goes up must come down. And there's only one market that hasn't, uh, fulfilled that prophecy and that's been the u.s stock market and maybe that'll happen someday uh, for some type of correction we'll be able to see uh what's going on uh, uh david david white just posts some things about earnings and stuff and i i don't follow the earnings i just follow what the things are is uh, you know how is the market's moving and stuff so we'll be watching that and i've got a couple other uh charts that uh, i wanted to uh, mention to you uh I posted the one showing you the gold, like I had an expected target in the gold of around 2055 for today. We got to uh, uh, 2079 uh, right around that time, but, you know, it went a lot higher because the emotionalism in these markets, you know, is uh, second to none. I think it's uh, very, very important. Everybody seems to be preoccupied about wh whether there's going to be a crash or not, folks. Sure, there's going to be a crash, but, you know, you don't know when. I mean, heck, you, you just got to... Pay your money and take your choice. That's basically what you got to do. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
Paperwhite's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, and I posted the chart of the um, oh shucks of the the three drive to a top pattern in the banking index. We used J.P. Morgan on the daily and showed you how to do this, and we'll be able to see this uh, what's going on here. But I wanted to show you this next chart because this is indicative of what you have to deal with when you're playing with these markets uh, in the well, especially crude oil. And believe me, the open interest is dropping, but we, that is going to be a real problem down the road. But right now, it's not. This is the spread between the, and this is this is as it was three days ago. It's actually increased by a factor of another five or ten percent, because people are willing. If you wanted to buy August crude, you can buy it at twenty dollars under the board. So they think in August things are going to be okay. If you remember last year at this time, right? It was around April. They, they went negative. You remember they had that dude from uh, uh, Singapore was trapped. And, uh, you know, uh, okay. Oh, okay. Kurt, hold on just a second. I got to. All right. I got to answer somebody. <laughs> hold on a second. Hey, just get a good idea. Very good idea, David. Thank you. Anyway, uh, th remember he was stuck. He didn't have any place to take delivery. There was no, not one container in the whole world could take his contracts. And so it went $27,000 negative. Now, folks, that, the, the, the exchange should have been spanked for that. That shouldn't have, that, that was just, they, they really shouldn't have done that. So that's the main thing. Uh, let's let's keep in mind here, folks, that uh, you know, some of these markets are very aberrant. In fact, if you tried to buy that stuff down there when it's trading at ten, eleven dollars, you know, a few days later, they, the exchange wouldn't even let you buy it. IB and some of these other places, you had to, you know, be at a big brokerage house where you were able to, uh, you know, get access to put the contracts on because they wouldn't allow you to do it until it was like fifteen or twenty dollars higher, as I recall. I wasn't involved in it, but I had heard stories about it, just like I hear stories. About about it now when I do when I do a trade in crude oil it's going to be on a 15 minute chart and I'm going to know I don't have to risk more than a dollar a barrel and I'm willing to I'm willing to do that but you know sit there and hold that overnight at any time you could come in here and anything could happen you know we'll see uh, see what's uh, see what's going on so that's uh, the primary thing to keep uh, see what's going on right now that's the main thing okay now somebody uh, at some point, a small position. There's here. Someone's asking the question about SCO, so it's trading less than five dollars right now. This was a gentleman yesterday, Mike, 
uh, one of our uh, good good buddies over there in Orange County, he wanted to buy. He said I had extra money, and he said I wanted to buy some SCO, which is, you know, uh, being uh, short to crude oil. And of course, it's been dropping like a rock. But he was willing to risk a thousand dollars, so he put a very small position on in that. Uh, it was right around 510, I think, is when he was buying it. It's a little below five right now. So what he's willing to do, the, the amount of dollars that he has at risk now, if old gold gets to 175, okay, he will lose a thousand dollars. So until that happens, he's short crude oil, risking a thousand bucks, and it's got to get to 175 before he's wrong. There's nothing wrong with that. And and the reason why. I mean, I told him, I said, I wouldn't do it. But then when I thought about it, I remember what they told me at Drexel. The one thing you can't do is don't ever talk somebody out of a position that they want to do, because if it works, they're never going to forgive you. I mean, I, I can I, oh, I can tell you several stories about that over the years. And I learned my lesson. If somebody wants to do it, explain to them what the risk is and let them do it. Because uh, if it works, and if it works and you just tell them not to do it, they're never going to forgive you for that. You can win, you can lose them money, you can make them money, but boy, you can't you can't pee on their parade, folks, because that uh, that's not good. And it's common sense; it it really is. So I was glad that I had the opportunity to do that. I told him, "Hey, a thousand bucks not going to change your style of living. It's certainly not going to change mine." So that's the main thing of uh, what you want to do when you're watching these things. So I hope that's important. Thanks for bringing that up, Jimmy D, because uh, I had uh, I was thinking about that real early this morning when I saw oil hit 129 and change again. Someone asked if that could be a double top. Well, of course it is. Did I bet on it being a double top? Of course not. Nothing, not even doing anything at all with that. I'm just waiting to see, you know, when I have a really clear pattern. I didn't have anything at all last night that uh, looked interesting at all. Uh, the only one that I that I thought I would have was uh, gold as a potential short at I think it was 2023, but it went through there like it didn't even exist. And so what I'm doing now is I'm just waiting to see, you know, what's going to happen, uh, you know, to the next thing that, that occurs here. So the uh, market's still trying to hold up. We've rallied another 25 handles here in the S&P to get up at uh, 41 to 74. It's a really important day today here, folks, uh, because uh, the fact that if this stock market doesn't close really strong today, it could have some serious weakness. And uh, that is, uh, you know, we don't want to have that happen uh, for people that are still in the market so they don't get hurt. But eventually everybody's going to come out of it all right anyway. That's the, that's the key to uh, watching some of these things. The bond market, getting back to the bond market, that's where the real problem lies, folks. We're at 157 now. That's three handles under where that market was on Sunday night. And that's a sign that, uh, you know, people are moving out of bonds. Interest rates are going higher instead of lower. So all those things uh, you have to factor in that uh, this is uh, this is how it's done. So we got to pay very close attention to that as we as we walk through. I'm going to try to figure out how to get my guests to come on and use the Discord, the new service that they have here at uh, TFNN. Hopefully uh, we can get them to uh, do a quick little uh, learning lesson and we can get them to visit us and show some of the great charts and things that they have. And I think that will be something that will also be a lot of fun that we can look at down uh, down the road here. The main thing today is the stock market. Uh, Basil wrote it out real clearly, uh, uh, read it out to us really clearly on his show. It's important for the market to be up not just 100 points, but about 200 points in the Dow by you know the last two hours of trading. Then it's got a chance, you know, for a substantial move. Uh, into some more uh, calmer waters, as they might say. But if we close badly today, uh, if we close badly today, that's not going to set well uh, for the rest of the week. And it's also not going to set well uh, for the rest of the month. And we've got a big key date coming up. If you remember, between the 15th and the 19th, a whole lot of things will be happening uh, at that time. So those are a few things that uh, that I want to, I want to cover one other chart for you folks here. And that is this one here. Uh, it's in Tesla because it's the only of the uh, the stocks that is held up that is uh, of the of the car stocks. And I wanted to show those car stocks again. I'll do that after we uh, after we get that up. I think that let's see if the uh, I believe that the Tesla chart uh, popped up okay. 
If it didn't, let me know. Okay, thank you very much. All right, that's what we're watching. I, and, and it should hold that bottom down there at 700. I, I haven't checked it for a couple of days here, but my guess is it probably should. All of the other stocks that we looked at in that group, uh, that was the one that uh, the, the Elliott Wave people posted that. And I think I'm going to show that one because, to me, that was a, that was a real interesting one that all these stocks that were electric stocks, you know, everybody wants an electric car and stuff. Well, they might not get it. If you remember back in, we'll, let's get, here's, we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, I posted the uh, automobiles, electric automobiles that the Elliott Wave folks talked about. There's 15 of them up there, and uh, well over half of them have dropped more than 90%. Tesla, of course, has been doing pretty well. The BYD, I think that's a Chinese one, but the one that's most amazing to me is the truck of the year, Rivian. You know, that's selling for less than 90%, more than 90% from its high. I mean, that's a, that's an $80,000 truck. Folks, let me explain something to you. An $80,000 truck is not a working truck for the normal, you know, uh, tradesman. So this that's basically a toy is what that is. And I remember that uh, these things, uh, they can disappear quite quickly. If you remember, I said many times, 2,000 cars, production cars were in business 
in September of 1929, and only three of them made it, Chrysler, Ford, and General Motors. So, uh, you know, we can still look at some of these old cars, the Studebakers and stuff like that, the Stutz Blackhawks and, you know, some of these real Bugattis and things. But, I mean, most of these are in museums, but uh, things do change. And uh, we're going to be able to see whether this is going to continue going the way it is or not. But uh, it's one thing or another. Just remember, folks, it's not how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose. So the key today is how the stock market closes. If it closes strong, it's weathered a terrific storm. And if it doesn't, then we're going to have a couple of days. It's going to be pretty nasty. And uh, But we'll get through it. It's going to be fine no matter what. There's going to be great opportunities. We've got wheat trading now, so then we know we're not going to starve. It's already $2 a bushel under where it was limit bid the other day. So that's a really good sign. And the soybeans are not going nuts and corn's not going nuts. So things are starting to calm a little bit in some of the commodity markets, as, especially the food. Remember, folks, oil and gold are indigestible. You need food. So if you ever want to see a panic happen, tell folks they can't have food. You can saw what happened during the you can see what happened during the uh, the COVID. How quickly things disappeared off the uh, off the shelves. So you got to remember that uh, down the road. But right now things are starting to look a little bit better. As with springtime coming, you're planning, getting ready. I think it'll be it'll be fun. So we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. 